Hey everyone, this is Power to Mario with Mega Freak 400 in this iteration of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And yes. actually, we're in the process of seeing if we can get a part in this expedition that's going to happen soon. But first, minigame? Yes, this one. So now PTM gets to play with feet. And, yes. and not in a creepy way. Well, t this still doesn't make any sense for checking for you know, as being a gatekeeper, wouldn't it make more sense just to have someone up at the top of the... Actually, yeah, wait, what's the point of them checking the feet? Why can't they just have someone guard the gate? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, this logic is... What? <laughs> feet, it's Ivysaur. Well, hey, 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 man, feet, I know feet, I know feet. <laughs> Was that your high score at the very top? Um, I assume so, which would be just perfect. Um, that one would be... What? Yep, shift tree. Oh, it is. Wait, it's, it's feet are like that? That's all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes the most sense out of all the other ones. It's right like there. a. It's almost like, um, stilts, almost. Kind of. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I did. <laughs> spoilers, I didn't get it perfect, but I screwed up on a couple of them, just the first guesses. Oh, uh, that's definitely on. shield on it. So. You're getting this before <laughs> the picture appears, though. Yeah, getting it before the picture appears gives you a lot of points, so that's how you want to get your highest score. I probably didn't beat yours, though, because I screwed up on a couple of them. Oh, this one threw me off a little bit. It's not simple. No, nah, it's it's Bayleaf, I believe. Uh, it's Poochiana. It's Poochiana? That's a big foot, though. It's a big... It's Poochiana, but it's a huge foot. It's definitely not more. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I... Uh, I didn't beat, I didn't beat your score, I don't think. I got close though. I think. We'll see though. I think there's gonna be another time where we have to do this. Yeah. Is there I think there's another minigame too, isn't there, or am I wrong? Uh I think you are incorrect. Aw. There is no there's not really another minigame at all. I want more. I want one where we have to identify Pokemon by their ears. <laughs> by their ears. <laughs> or not their I don't know what I guess feet is the most obscure. I guess you could do, like, silhouettes. Just, who's that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, we got a, we're, we're getting a lot of Reviver Seeds, actually. Which is good, but... I need Reviver Seeds. <laughs> uh, those come in handy. See, I don't understand. We're actually very under-leveled at this point of the game. Are we? I, I don't know. I've been fighting a, quite a bit of Pokemon. It's not like... Are we... For are you We'll see. We'll see in the next video. Next video, we get to a, a different dungeon. Right today, we're gonna revisit uh, Mount Bristle uh, in some missions. Yeah, like I said, a lot. Of, actually, after th this next dungeon, um, well, we'll get to that. But but if people who are kind of sick of the repeat dungeons, you won't be sick of that. You, you you'll be happy in a few videos. You'll be happy. <laughs> Ooh, an announcement. Oh, announcement. See what's going on Wait. here. Allies. An alliance. Oh um, no! No, wait. I want to say one thing first, though. I, I this is entirely just for the purpose of having some kind of conflict because none of the other expedition teams have this same kind of. Though, they, nah, I guess it makes sense because they want to get in on the expedition specifically. So they're just trying to be nefarious. The uh, the um, team skull that is. Oh he, oh, he calls us out. What? I'll kick you to the curb, skunk tank. What are you talking about? You're just a Pikachu. He's a skunk. Clearly, um, I mean, uh, skunk, uh, ma or skunks are better than m mice because... Yeah, well, you, you <laughs> because... touch your own poop, so... No, no, I don't know. Yeah, so... You're, you're a No, no, so... Let me just, just so you all know, Team Skull has an automatic spot in the expedition because they're supposed to be helping Wigglytuff specifically for some reason. Do they say that? I don't think. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, like like Skuntank's team is supposed to specifically be there to help Wigglytuff. That's why they got in. I don't uh -oh. know what for, but Wigglytuff's having a mental breakdown. Yeah, uh, people aren't happy that Team Skull is being a part of this expedition because, uh, actually, I noticed uh, in the animation, when they first popped in, 
uh, the only, uh, Pokemon that actually, like, they had that little, uh, the three-dashed, like, surprise thing mm -hmm. next to them was us, Sunflora, and Corphish, because they had that experience with them earlier. So I liked how they alluded them to that. Yeah. But it was, but, um, yeah, we, so, Wiggly Tough was just playing some odd abilities there, but, yeah, um, Team Skull was gonna be a thorn in our side if you couldn't tell already. Block missions. I'm probably gonna scrap those. <laughs> you yeah, you can accept missions, but you don't have. You can always just not. Um, as long as you like, don't accept them on the uh, job list. Then you're, you can take any mission you want. And then you can uh, delete. You can delete missions on your job list too. The, and the one that you, yeah, and the one that you could do technically if you really wanted to, you could just take all the jobs and then just save them for later. I would assume. And do yeah, them they they carry over. So if you see one that you like but you don't want to do it right now because it doesn't like chain up well, like you, you know, like say there's one in like Drench Bluff and you and you want to do a bunch in Mount Bristle, well you could always save that one for later. Mm -hmm. So that's actually something I didn't really think about that you, that is definitely worth doing. I mean, if you want to progress to the story quicker, you can stack, like stacking missions is a lot more effective right now uh, than uh, taking on uh, just only one or two part of missions. It gets you more points early on. Later on though, we're going to have missions with higher values and that'll become yeah. Am I getting rid of the grappler rock? Well, actually, no, because I just used the Geo Pebble. No, I'm getting, I'm getting items right now. I'm taking the. Ge oh, see, the th one thing is, you can't. Uh, can you equip the grappler rock to like one of your partners and still allow them to have an item? I don't think you can. No. You have one, one equip slot. You can give them the Geo Pebble and they'll throw it whenever, though. Which is, I don't yeah. advise because the AI is not that smart. They, they'll just keep throwing. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna take on all the Mount Bristle missions. So that'll be fun. We won't get another. We won't get a, a rank up, but we'll get we'll get a good chunk of that taken care of. Mount uh, Bristle will definitely be a welcome um, break from the water cave. Of yeah, the waterfall and waterfall cave rather. They're a lot easier to take out in this one. I actually had it close. You'll see at the very end of this. I actually had it pretty close. Now, since we can now actually recruit Pokemon, I will, um, the first time we are here I didn't mention this, but I will mention, uh, Pokemon you can find here. Um, you can find Machop from, uh, floors, uh, 1 to 9, level 6 to 7, and its recruit rate is 8.2. Um, Geodude is, uh, floors 1 through 9, 6, to, uh, level 6 to 7, 8.2. Uh, Doduo and Spinarak, um, are both floors 1 through 9, uh, level 7 through 8, and the recruit rate is 6.4. Um, Starly and, uh, oh, it's, Starly is floors 1 through 9, but its levels are 8 through 9, and its recruit rate is 8.2. Um, Nidorina and Nidorino are floors 4 through 9, and they are levels 5 to 6, and their recruit rate is 0.5, so they're the hardest to, uh, well, I assume to recruit, I know, um, Someone mentioned that your leader's level is what d determines it a little bit. Oh yes, there's a, it's a mixture of things. It wasn't just, it wasn't simply your rank or anything. It's a combination. I think we mentioned that earlier. But thanks to whoever said that, because I mean, there's I don't know every I don't know all the ins and outs of like the technical parts of the game. I, I know kind I know very basics about how it works. But if there's little nuances that I don't catch, uh, feel free to just comment. Tell us about it. The thing about this game is it's a lot more complex than... I almost argue it's more complex than the regular Pokemon game. I mean, you can technically make the regular Pokemon really complex with all the, you know, IVs and uh, type advantages and all that simple stuff, but when it gets down to the bare bones nature of it, um, it's pretty much just have a higher level or have a type advantage, and that's the yeah. easiest way to win a Pokemon battle. Here, it's kind of like that, but there's... I don't know, there just seems like there's more more to it, I don't know if that makes any sense. When you add, it, there, hmm. I mean, maybe not, maybe it, maybe it is fairly simple, but it just, it feels more complex than, than Pokemon. I think it's just a different, just a, really, just a different play style. Why didn't you, the, why didn't you step on the, um, tile to cure your... Oh, Wonder Tile, yeah. Um, I could have done that, but, uh, I kind of don't. You don't? I like, I like a challenge. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, did, I just didn't think of it. 
But yeah, uh, I should probably demonstrate uh, a lot more uh, awareness of the Wonder Tiles, because when you have stat decreases like defense or attack decreases from Growl or Tail with the moves like that, Wonder Tiles your friend. What's just fun to step on them? They make a fun sound effect. I don't actually remember the sound effect. It's just like a, a click kind of, or a, a... Not really like a that, but like just a... T I don't know. It's, you, you'll probably hear it eventually. Assuming you use it at some point. Ooh, there's something we haven't seen yet. Starly? Um, no, 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 no. No, there, there's something we have yet to see uh, in dungeons that I'll mention real quick, but I'll elaborate when we see them. Uh, traps. Oh, traps. Did you know about those? I vaguely know about traps. Okay. Um, they're random, just like the dungeons themselves. They're randomly placed. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. dungeons will have more of them, too. We have a, your uh, team member that's joining us, a Machop. Yes. A female you Machop. Can, yeah, once you recruit, you can nickname. So, uh, you got a chance to nickname uh, your main two at the very beginning, so I guess that kind of counts as a recruiting thing. But you can't nickname what you're saying? You can't nickname once you uh, recruit. I don't think you can recruit. I don't think you can change nicknames. I read somewhere that supposedly when you evolve them, which we're not getting to for a long time, but supposedly if you evolve them, they can um, change nicknames. Oh, but. yeah. You can evolve, like, at post-game, you can evolve anytime, but the main two, you can't evolve until you get yeah. farther into the post-game story. There's actually going to be something more to this outside of the main story. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that very much later. Uh, much later. But anyway, um, yeah, the one, the one thing with uh, that we, we decided... People were mentioning, oh, well, I, I, you know, typically, typically this game having a party of sorts, because you can only have, like, four at the time anyway, isn't necessarily ideal, so from now on, we're just going to kind of just have whatever Pokemon recruit, uh, joins us, join us from this yeah. point on. Except for Machop, because he's kind of uh, under-leveled a bit, and I don't really want, I don't really want a fighting type. Well, yeah, but you're still gonna, you, but I mean, he's, she's still, and it's she, but she still joined us, you just won't use her. Yeah, eligible open shelf in the assembly, pretty much. Generally speaking, what happens to all the Pokemon that you don't have join you? Like, you can only get a lot, so they just all just kind of... Where, where do they all go? <laughs> uh, they go home. Well, no, because... Well, oh, does the assembly just call them to come help you, so they just... So they're not really a party of the team, they just join you whenever... Oh, you're talking about when you actually recruit. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about because um, you recruit him a chop, so you put her in this, then you put her oh, away. Um, they automatically reset into the assembly, so all you have to do is go to uh, Chimaco. No, 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 no. I, I know, I know the mechanics explanation. I'm talking about the logical explanation. Where, oh. where do all the Pokemon go? <laughs> I guess they just go randomly back into the dungeon. Back to the dungeon. You know me. I, I the mechanics are. It's... Where do they live? I don't. Is there some, like, clubhouse? See, in the first Mystery Dungeon, this was easy because they actually had a, a base of operations. Is it worth playing the original, or not the original, but I guess the, the first, um, I know there's a DS version and a Game Boy version, which is weird that there's a DS and a Game Boy one as opposed to two DS ones, but is it worth playing those, and should I go for the DS one over the Game Boy one? I would play the, play, play Blue Rescue Team. Blue Rescue Team's really fun. Is Red, uh, is Red not worth it then, or? It's, it's, there's not, oh, they're chasing me. There's not really much to <laughs> This seems like Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Like, I could just I, see the Benny Hill thing being played there. Oh, Psyduck. An no, evil no, no. Psyduck. Oh, Psyduck. Yeah, Psyducks are terrible. Pokemon or just... Well, as, as a boss, as, like as an outlaw, Psyducks Actually, are just really strong. Where did the Psyduck come from? <laughs> it's like Mount Bristle, home to flying types, rock types... And the Psyduck. Types, fire types, and the Psyduck. Well, I mean, to be fair, he did escape. So it wouldn't be like hey, this is his home, but like it's just weird that there's a side duck right away in the mountains. Yeah. Uh, what I should have done here is used Orenberry on Pikachu, uh, because that happens. I would die. Oh, you died. But oh, but you I got revived. Had okay. That reviver seed that I picked up in the dungeon. So. so yeah, that's the good thing that's um, 
having a reviver seat handy is always useful because of stuff like that, where... Because there's always, like, freak accidents where you think you're doing good and then something happens and you just get really unlucky. Oh, you killed Machop. Yeah, what really stinks... I'm, I'm glad he got Pikachu before Machop. But, um, what really stinks about outlaw battles, especially in a dungeon like Waterfall Cave this early on, mm -hmm. I had an experience where there was three other Pokemon, like a wild Pokemon, in there, along with the outlaw. Yeah, and they so just... You have, you end up have to fight. This becomes easier with Pikachu, especially, uh, which is why I wanted Pikachu as our partner. Uh, Pikachu learns a move later on called Discharge, which actually activates and hits every single Pokemon in the room that you're in. Which can be really useful. Yep. So, we have all the missions completed, so next... Oh, well, now, not over yet. Now we get the, we get the wrap-up of what happened afterwards. Thank you for rescuing me. All right. So you could probably replace the um, Geo Pebble with the Graveler Rock eventually, because yeah, you get a ton of Graveler Rock. It's fun. The Geo Pebble's awesome, but the Graveler Rock, I assume, is just a stronger version of it's, it. Yeah, it's just it's stronger. Um, and I think there's uh, we picked up something called the Stick. That's the those are the Thorn types of throw items. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty. I don't know. I can't confirm this, but I think rocks can only hit ground-based enemies. And I don't know if rocks can actually hit enemies that are flying. Hmm. Like, I think I've like hit... There's, well, I think there's a move, there's like a levitate ability or something that prevents it. Ah. Uh, oh, we get a cutscene. Cutscene? I think. Or something. Ooh, Team Skull's up to something. Oh no, they're pilf... pilf... pilf they're stealing food from the pantry. They're pilfering the pantry. Well, next time we will find out the results of that, uh, what's going to happen because of this. Gluttony.